Welcome aboard, sports fans. We're coming to you live from Face to Face Games. We are coming at you with some PTL Prototype Toronto League Season 12 action. We've got uh, one of the league bosses, uh, Aaron, versus uh, perennial PTL bridesmaid, Samit. This is his first time making the top eight, I believe. And no matter which way this game splices out, we're dubbing it the Battle of the Salt Mines. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I'm in. We are your hosts. I'm Timbo Slice. I'm Devin Monkhouse. And we are just thrilled to be uh, casting VWTV Live action from the heart of tabletop gaming in Toronto. Face-to-face games at Woodbine and Danforth. Sumit and Aaron are both um, absolute connoisseurs of the jank. Uh, Aaron loves, he's the known as the father of uh, Forship. Fair Father ship. of Fairship. Father so of Fairship. Sumit's a fan of um, a bunch of those I-5 aces for Imperials, and uh, he likes those little um, pocket aces, Walter Waits. He also has an unhealthy love affair with Defenders and Phantoms, which we're seeing an example of this evening. Uh, excellent, excellent. He was like, I don't know what I should run. And I'm like, you should run what you're good at running. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Which, unless you're participating in some sort of a janky PTL format, you should always fly what you're good at when it comes to a BTL top eight, just to clarify there. All right, Victor, uh, why don't you uh, see how we're doing with our players, and if their deployment is almost ready, we can get them over here for an interview. Quarterfinals of Season 12, Samit, we're absolutely thrilled for you. Uh, we were just mentioning yeah. about your your perseverance across the seasons and uh, and your, your all-around good gaming spirit. Any uh, insights you can share us on why you put the rocks the way you did or why you deployed the way you yeah, did? Yeah, so he gave me initiative, and I figured <clears throat> I always fly with the three biggest rocks I can fly, uh, but the fact that I don't want to get hit with any of those protons or seismics, I figured I'd take my two turns to bury two of the big rocks in his end, and I'm going to I'm gonna try to draw him into the two open spaces. That's kind of why I set up there. Um, it looks like I'm going to come at him aggressively, but I'm going to see if I can draw him up and split my lanes. I just don't want to get hit with those seismics. we got Aaron P. on the mic, and oh. he's going to help us. Uh, he was calling him the father of four-ship. He's going to walk us through his rock deployment and his list building. Yeah, that father of four-ship thing is an exaggeration. I'm old, but not, not that old. That's Paul Heaver, I think position uh, set up to try to draw them in. They're all big. They're all in the way. I've got a K-Wing with seismics. Uh, I've got proton bombs on the Y-Wing and the K-Wing. And I want to draw him in and hit him with those because I also have Sabine. Sabine will apply conditions. So if I can get an Ion or a tractor beam on Rexler, hooray. Or Whisper. I'm going to hold back on uh, using the K-Wing a bit uh, because I find that if I lose the K-Wing early, I'm going to lose. You definitely brought your A game tonight. What uh, what were you tossing back and forth between this list and another list? Everybody comes to a match with a short list. Uh, yeah, the problem two. is I think Aaron has taught me a lot about this game, so he's basically my Palpatine. So uh, he taught me how to fly Phantoms and Strikers, so this is going to be really bad for me, but that's okay. Uh, I figured if I was going to try anything against them, I have to fly the ships that I'm the best at flying. It's yeah. funny that you should say about playing Aaron. I know the exact feeling. It's like when Neo fights Morpheus. Um, you know, he just like he, he doesn't just know the list that you've brought. He knows you, your tactics, your when you're going to be squirrely, and uh, he's an all-around great player. So, um, thank you in advance for what plans on being a great game, and uh, and best of luck to you this evening, mate. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm going to go at him. I love that you brought Leia. She's my girl. Yep. Well, she's now just a mere two points. Yeah, I love the uh, the points adjustment on her. It's a great um, way to get a, a brilliant card in the game. Two points is a bit uh, jaw-dropping. Well, there's been a few points adjustments that are jaw-dropping, but we'll get into those when you're on the table, my man. All right. Best of luck this evening. All right. Cheers. Thanks, Tim. Uh, all right. Well, we've had our pregame interviews. We've got our rocks deployed, our ships deployed. We're going to have uh, action kicking off here in a sec. Thanks wait, to wait. Aaron bought, brought Four Ship Rebel, and Samit <laughs> brought Imperial Aces. Yeah, all is right in the world. Uh, he brought his Bay Whisper. Mm-hmm. His one true love, the Defender, right. and his Mistress Duchess. Yeah, the only thing that would have made it even more perfect would have been if Whisper was Echo. But you know what? At the end of the day, we're not we're not here to split hairs. Uh, that's a real light Whisper, just Juke, yeah, Juke just collision, juke. collision Detector on Rexler Brath versus like uh, versus Collision Detector on Whisper is an interesting choice. It is. Um, maneuver on Duchess is. I mean, it, the, the Collision too. Detector decision in the end that Sumit made without knowing it is going to pay dividends in the end because you got Sabine Wren on the K-Wing. Oh, there's so, so many upgrades on Aaron's side. Yeah, if, if Sabine Wren blows up a seismic torpedo, then Sabine Wren can assign a tractor beam token to Rexler. Or a jam, or a stress, or, or a stress, an ion. But, but th- theoretically, if it's the yep. tractor and you throw Rexler on a rock, 
well then the collision detector is going to be very useful. And those seismic charges have just such a huge footprint on the table mm-hmm. that you're going to get Sabine ran off. Yeah, 100%. Lot. I mean, the K-Wing has no way of propelling bombs forward like the uh, Punisher or the Skirg bomber. But at the end of the day, with that slam ability, being able to slam into advantageous positions and drop a bomb with a two backwards uh, skill bombardier the following turn, you now have a two backwards... Um, then a range one bubble to any of these giant rocks. That K-Wings would be able to cover a significant amount of area uh, with that bombing. And then factor in, it's got barrage rockets. I can understand why Aaron's definitely put uh, the K-Wing at the back of the formation. Well, um, I'm, I'm so rare these days that you're seeing a U-Wing. Well, it's always been rare to see a U-Wing on the table. And I'm excited to see how Aaron uses it. And that little pivot it can do now, the 90-degree little click, so good, well, so much fun. With the points adjustment with U-Wings coming down, uh, Devin, you're, you're right on the money, man. Did they come down enough, though? I feel like they did. I mean, look, at that's a Blue Squadron scout with Leia for 45 points, man. The, the key thing that people really haven't clued into yet in 2.0 with the U-Wing is that the key difference is that now on the pivot wing title, the, the zero K turn thing, it triggers just before you activate. So it's not like you have to do it in a weird timing window like you did in 1.0, you can literally just decide, oh, you know what, this turn, that actually works. I'm going to flip my thing and give her. And at a high PS, that's really advantageous. Yeah, so if you do it on somebody like Cassian or, or, or um, Saw Gerrera, it's great. But when you have like a Blue Squadron Scout like this, um, it, it's just going to be a really interesting thing. And I love that Aaron's, you know, quote, top-notch ace is Thane, who's really just like... <laughs> He's just there. I couldn't tell you what Thane does. Thane's one of my favorite X-Wings, T-65s, which is that if you're damaged, I can spend one of my attack results, including a blank, to just expose one of your damage cards when I shoot at you. This new damage deck is uh, pretty rough. Nasty, nasty, nasty. 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 So here the guys are moving over each other, sort of getting into the game. Uh, I'm not going to say it's late because it's 8, but... uh, Certainly, we all will get out of here at a decent time, get to the pub. I don't foresee this game going longer than probably about 60 minutes, I think, one way or another. Not with ships. that four forward out of Rexler Brath. He's, uh, Samit's gunning for, uh, gunning to get some pain into Aaron pretty quick, although I'm not sure about jousting the, in the uh, I mean, Aaron here has four three die ships versus, uh, Samit's three three die ships, so. He's yeah, I mean, lean heavily on those evade dice. Now, the I say that, but the the U wing, not the U wing, the um, the Y wing, does not have a three die. Uh, well, it attack. has an ion cannon turret but at range two. Yeah, and then the exactly. Warden Squadron pilot's native uh, uh, weapon is two dice, but it's got those barrage rockets that yeah. it can fire up to range three. So, you know, Bert. It, well, it's got a hundred and two hundred and seventy degree arc. Yeah. Right. Because you keep the you keep the the bow tie arc pointing sideways and the barrage rockets forwards. That's you cannot. It's basically a turret, like a 1.0 turret. Now, how do you think Samit's going to handle all these bombs going off with difficulty? <laughs> Quick shout out to some of the members of the chat chiming in from all over Ontario, including the Ewok Squadron, premier gaming club of the London, Ontario area. Uh, consisting of several longtime and newer X-Wing members. They play X-Wing, they play Legion, uh, they What's play that? Armada, uh, and then there's other Star Wars games that they do. They have a Facebook page. Just Ooh. check out Ewok Squadron Facebook page. The fanciest and, um, of community organization, the Facebook page. Well, they got a killer logo Does and, it, some, does and work? some fun uh, members and stuff like that. I know their, their squad, uh, squad mate, Scott Ross, is very heavily involved, and he's a great guy. So if you're looking uh, to... Play and they're, they're out of the, London. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If you're in the Tri Cities area, out west of the GTA, and you're, you're you're closer to KW, you can go to the GRX. Yeah. But those guys are jerks. So if you wanted to go further west, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love the GRX. Uh, out further west near London, uh, you got the Ewoks out of London, and then if you're further down the 401, uh, closer to the Chatham, Windsor, Sarnia area, there's the Rose Squadron out of uh, out of the area down there. Now the GRX is doing a team tournament in June, which uh, I know I'll be going to, and uh, I'm sure I would encourage anybody here within a, a few hours drive of uh, old K Dubs to book some time off, get J- going. Put Janky format, sign me up. Yeah, I'm diggity down. Uh, PTL will have to send a couple of teams, a couple of Raiders, a oh. couple of a couple of Sharks. 
Yeah. We'll just send uh, we'll send Philip Gales. He's like the nicest guy you've ever met until he rolls like triple crits on you and then you're like, you salty, palmy jerk. You know, Evan did that to you in the last game. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, yeah he did. He straight up just like three crits? He did. He just dropped him like it was hot. Yeah. It's okay. We're now, I'm fun. not sure. The, the saying in X-Wing is when, uh, when two players joust, one of them is wrong. Um, how, how, Who says that? How do you... Uh, How do you suggest Samit gets out of this situation? With difficulty. <laughs> Samit has set him up. Self, Sumit has set himself up um, for the uh, for the joust. Oh, I'm being corrected from the chat, folks. Just a quick one. The oh, Rose wait. the Rose Squadron has actually renamed themselves to the 519th mm -hmm. Squadron down in the Windsor area. So that's led by Solon Wong. Thank you. And Solon's a great guy. He Come is. out to almost every major event I can remember in Toronto. So uh, yeah, I mean, five one nine. They got a Facebook page, and all those boys from all those squadrons out west that we mentioned, including the East Enders from uh, east Durham of Toronto. Region. We got guys up in the north end of Ontario as well. Everybody's coming down for Toronto System Open Series at the end of the month. Kevin, yeah, now uh, I've I've been in touch with Steve in a while. Do you know how many people are coming? Because uh, I've been getting asked. I don't know how many people are coming. I know how I, I I do know. I'm not at liberty to share, but I can definitely tell you that if you have not purchased your ticket, you should. You should be doing that by the latest, the end of this weekend. As we say this, of course, Devin immediately reaches for his cell phone and his credit card, uh, like so many of us that procrastinate. Now, I uh, I will not be playing in the hyperspace. I Sorry, will not be, be playing the main event. I will not be playing in the main event because I do not like extended. Uh, however, I will be brought, I'll be casting here. See from VTTV Live, you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing my lovely voice all day. Um, I'll be casting with Samit Vats, who you see on screen here. We'll be uh, chatting up a storm all day, and um, it's going to be a blast. I oh, can't yeah, anybody wait. coming into the city, make sure you're reaching out to PTL folks because the X-Wing is not going to be the only thing that's going to be fun that weekend. That's absolutely, that. absolutely. Uh, we'll probably be posting in the Facebook group. We need to... Um, Someone's organizing a tailgate. Someone who will not be named. Um, and we'll probably try and do a social on the Friday night. I know Paul LaRue was looking to get a couple of games in. I'm not sure if we want to do games or if we want to get get the guys together for a social, maybe a bit of both. But uh, well, My personal goal is to get Marcel Morninston just fall down drunk on the weekend. But I don't think that's going to be very difficult. Um, I don't think those boys drink. I don't know. Uh, I, I couldn't speak to that. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, getting back to our action this evening. Um, we've got Aaron uh, progressing up the board slowly. He's managed to close the distance gaps of his squad and present himself with just a you know, 17th century red coats firing line-esque formation of his ships on the top end of the board there. It's so beautiful. I love it, everything about it. Sumit uh, compensating by keeping Duchess out of as many arcs as possible mm -hmm. because... Duchess does not want to be taking 12 red dice at range 3. She will pop like a like a streamer balloon. Now, Duchess and Whisper are sort of coming in on the flank, and, and they're going to probably get a lot of damage into, I don't know, uh, what's-his-face, generic Blue Squadron scout there. Um, well, so Aaron's he, protected his ace Thane Corral in the back. Um <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say it, I just I laugh. But no, you know what? He's got to get rid of Leia. I mean, Sumit has to get rid of Leia. Leia you think? A, Leia has come down in cost to two bloody points. That is insane. Leia she Organa lost six crew. points. Leia Organa crew is a tremendously powerful card for the Rebel faction. Guys, there are so many Rebel ships that if you remove the limitations dials. of their red maneuvers for even one turn and give you know, them that, actions, that, I you was can surprised find yourself here. surrounded. I'm surprised here. Uh, the hard three from Rexler gets him in. He's going to barrel roll, which gets him in even deeper. He could have done like a, a K turn there. He could have done, um, you know, the the hard three and stayed and then continued to to do a 5K backwards. Because, I mean, I'm not sure the defender's 4K next round gets him behind those those ships. No, and but the five forward boost from the defender would put the defender in the perfect position to get behind that squad the following turn, I think. But there are many bombs behind that squadron. That's true. 
I'm just saying if you five forward boost with the defender to get it right up against the squad. Following turn, you go forward, dodge the bombs. I forgot it had boost. Is that important? Yeah, it's probably not a good thing to forget that a defender has boost, folks. Just, yeah. you know, write that shit on your, on your <laughs> thumb or something like that. No, well, Samit's already got decloak on his thumbs, I'm sure. Yeah, well, yeah. You don't want to forget it. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a critical turn for uh, positioning. Aaron's going to have to commit to a target. If he commits everything he's got to Rexler, he's putting himself in a very difficult position to have to come about and deal with uh, with Whisper and Duchess. Um, you know, conversely, Aaron has accomplished his goal uh, in my mind, which is he wanted to be able to close the range band gap from three right down to either one or two on the first round of engagement because nothing is more frustrating than shooting at a defender at range three when they've got two tokens. It's kind of like trying to nail Jello to the wall. I'm trying to think about what... I think Samit's going to continue to like inch his, his two triangle ships to the, to the left here. He parks Whisper right there. He'll have an arc as far as that. Well, um, I, I figured he'd, he'd decloak... And then come forward here. I think that keeps Whisper out of the fight this turn. No, because like the the Ewing's going to be here ish. I mean, that's... the Ewing has a stop. Don't forget, Devin. Sure. I mean, if I'm Aaron, I'm stopping that Ewing this turn. I'm going to one bank. The... So I'm not sure. I'm not. My, my point is, I don't think Whisper can go here because he has to decloak. Does he though? He, he. I mean, if he wants to shoot. It's a fair point. I really, I can, I'm concerned for Duchess's safety, her overall well-being in this turn uh, coming up because you've got a poor striker that's going to have one token versus a buttload of red dice. If Aaron decides to pivot his formation and come at it with a Y wing like that, park the K wing here to try and bomb the defender, and then just one forward Thane here, he's going to have an arc covering basically from like here to here, and be able to pick his target. Yeah, it's scary. Scary, scary, scary stuff. What we call on the father of four ship, folks. This is uh... well. We're just about ready to close up the activation. Oh, sorry, the uh, the planning phase here. I'm really Samit's interested. Samit's going to have to decide Aaron... where he's going to decloak. Yeah, so Samit has to decloak, and then Aaron's going to move most of his ships before Samit does. Well, just do we I... know who has first player? We do. It's Sumit. Sumit's player one. So Thane is the ace here. Sumit, he, Thane stop ace. He yeah. loses. He 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 loses last. He moves last. Max Lawls. Yeah. Well, just before our players finish up their planning phase and go to engagement, I'd like to take a moment and uh, just thank VWTV Live for coming out on a weeknight and setting up all their gear and helping us stream um, one of our PTL top season matches, folks. As a reminder, they have uh, a YouTube page and a Twitch uh, page, so you can uh, like and subscribe to their YouTube page. If you're feeling generous, you can go over to Twitch and use your Amazon Prime subscription to subscribe to uh, coins their, way. their Twitch Prime as I know, well. I'm a subscriber. And I'm a Patreon yeah, as well, myself, yeah. for uh, VWTV Live. They, they really uh, do a lot for the X-Wing community in Southern Ontario, and uh, we love having them around. So thanks again, Now, Victor I think this is there. Now, he did not decloak the way I expected him to. So. Nor did I. Yeah, I definitely did not see that coming. Now this is your uh, your first time with the new toys, isn't it? With the new points, you mean? No, the new toys with uh, drawing on the screen and the new mics and the, the new monitor and. Well, I'll take this opportunity to remind our viewers how terrible your memory is. You and I casted a GNK at uh, at Sword and Board a few. I think it was about a month and a half ago using Victor and Travis's new toys, but that's neither here nor there. I casted with three different people that day, so yes, you did. <laughs> Pretty sure you were drug half the day too, but it's all good. Um. Yeah, I was hopped up on cold meds. You're right. You were. Oh, man. Yeah, it's cold med season. Okay, so the U-Wing has pivoted in the direction that we inferred. Yeah. Giving it a lovely arc to cover against um, the Striker and Whisper. So, I mean, you're right. He's going to be able to cover almost a quarter of the board here. Mm. That U-Wing, oh, that Y-Wing taking uh, advantage of its 80-degree turret. It's going to be able to shoot all over here with that with that ion cannon. I still see the defender going straight and threading the defense on this one here, folks. You think the five forward boost? 
I do indeed, my friend. I do indeed. But that would just be my crazy, you know, YOLO approach to this whole thing. Not necessarily a, a smarter man. Okay, so we got Duchess opting not to use her ailerons, which is, of course, her native pilot ability. Um, she's just going to do a one bank and focus. Uh, Sumit sporting those absolutely gorgeous uh, sterling silver focus and evade tokens, which, of course, match the paint job of his ships. You mean the uh, the ugly subway token ones that you can't tell what they are from a distance? Uh, well, I, there's those, actually. I was referring to these lovely acrylic uh, silver ones. Those are those are those are those are green acrylic. They're what? They're green. They're not green. They've been painted silver. Oh, he's painted them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're silver. I thought you didn't even notice that this was here. Oh, I did. Yeah. It's a it's a a, a, a TTC token, isn't it? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Whisper's gonna take the subway. That's how she decloaks. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of our one of our members actually was using them as t TTC tokens for a while. I don't doubt it. Let's say I uh, hey, that's uh, transit fees for a week. You got him. You just bucks. go to a GNK on a Sunday. You got a fare for a week. You don't need to buy a Metro Pass. It's yeah, great. Man, it's worth it. So there, um, Rexler did not boost. He took the Focus of Aid. And uh, so he did not bump Thane. And he's going to get eat three shots where he is. Yeah, not a great spot for the Defender. But you know what? Um, Defender's going to be doing that. I think that, uh, yeah, Whisper's taking the range three on the K-Wing. The, the veteran caster, one hit there. Uh, Dodge juke. just fine. Gonna juke, juke, juke it. Juke. juke it. Aaron, considering the eyeball. Aaron's going to take it. And take the one shield. Like a champ. Whisper uh, taking an extra because evade he token or to, an extra TTC token. Yeah, because he wants to take keep that focus to do as much damage to Rexler in this position as he can right now. Which I would be doing, too. This would be uh, Duchess on yeah. the K-Wing as well. Duchess. Like the K-Wing's going to take another one. Sumit's dice continuing to be just for decoration. I mean, he has yet to you, roll a hit you say that, but like dice. it's it's uh, he's done half the shields off the K-wing for two for two range three shots. That's uh, not insubstantial. Sure, but he could have been like two in the hull of the K-wing at this point if he just rolled a hit. Okay, so we've got Rexler deciding that he does have arc on the K-wing, going for a range one. There's some paint. Still not going to be great. Is he going to spend his focus? No, no, save it for defense. Save it for hit crit. Going to juke. Spending the focus just so that shields down on the on the warden there. Aaron making it out like a bandit on that uh, one. There, a crit should have gone through there, correct? No, Aaron spent the focus token to only take one damage, ah, which was I the see. last shield on the warden. Okay, so we've got Aaron rolling four dice from Thane, taking three. Defender going to have to spend everything to not take a damage there. Now, Aaron does have crack shot, which will be going off here, I imagine. Aaron going to... Not use crack shot. Interesting no. timing. Did he forget? Does he uh, not have I think crack? He may have forgot it. Here's um. That's okay. Moving on. I wonder on. if it's primary. It must be the primary out the front Ooh, of the Y wing. Nothing from the Y wing. Rerolling with Horton Somm's ability. Oh, oh, that's a lot of everything. Smeet, uh rolling one. Um, I mean, his dice are very pretty. A very pretty decoration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the U Wing's shooting at Duchess here. We got a cock die. And U Wing coming up with one. No, nope, two. Spence focus. Duchess. Crit. Taking one. And it's a crit. And the crit is. Loose. Loose stabilizer. stabilizer. I mean, I always knew Duchess was a little loose, eh? <laughs> well, now that's why Countdown is perhaps my favorite striker. Because he uh, just doesn't matter. Just uh, like, oh no, I take a stress. I do one forward. Clear the stress. I let you up again. As a reminder to everybody who may be watching, loose stabilizer does apply to the aileron uh, title ship ability of the strikers. So if Sumit were to do a one bank aileron on one bank, it would be two damage until he clears that crit. So range three from the side arc. On the K-Wing. K-Wing going to shoot at Rexler here. I mean, that's the that's the choice to make. Uh, I just right. Smeet Rexler, should evade this. Not going to evade it. Taking a third shield. Oh. Okay, so Smeet. Rough. Definitely taking more damage than he would have liked on that turn. Trading three shields on Rexler and a damage crit into Duchess for just the shields on the K-Wing there. 
So me definitely going to have to come out more uh, advantageous in, in the rounds to come. Otherwise, he's going to get too far behind the eight ball here, Dev. Not ideal. Now, do you uh, expect a? Uh, do you expect something funny from uh, Rexler, or do you think he's just going to 4K? I mean, like that's what you would expect for the defender to do in this position is 4K boost, maybe. Um, but he could certainly do a hard three barrel roll, try and keep in tight behind those uh, those rebel ships. Who, if Aaron assumes he's going to. 4K, uh, it's going to be away from the bombs. There is actually, in so just chiming in from the chat here from uh, from the Ewoks out in London, uh, best chirp I've heard in a while. There is there any paint on any of Sumit's green dice? In actuality, there is not. No, they are. I was say, we have eight, scientific proof now that eight there is sides no. of blank on yeah. those green dice, folks. Um, but I mean, what would you do with Rexley here? Well. <laughs> So I'm trying to think about what I would do if I was either of these players. And here's the thing. If Aaron is about to do what I think he's going to do, he's going to two-turn the K-Wing shipwright. He's going to two-turn two -turn Horton Psalm shipwright. He's going to two-bank Thane right. He's going to stop the U-Wing, and he's going to blow the crap out of either Duchess or Whisper because he's going to fake going after Rexler here. If he drops a seismic charge two backwards with... The skill bombardier oh, K-wing. Forgot about the bombardier. He will catch the, 4K. the the rock. He'll catch the actual rock. But I don't think that Rexler is going to be close enough to that rock. Now the, the warden the does have inch. proton bombs as well as seismics, so he could dump the the protons out too. He could. I think he's hit the Y wing and Thane in the process. So at this point, you have to ask yourself: Is another shield off the the defender worth it? I mean, if you if you trigger that, you can also jam the uh, the defender because you would be using Sabine mm. um, you yep. can tractor it you can do a whole bunch of nasty stuff but I think that you know doing some nonsense with one of Aaron's uh, janky ship abilities here and then turning his ships and just obliterating one of Sumit's uh, aces out in the middle of the board here is probably the way to go so now he does have Leia so he can pop her as well and Stuff. so all of his all of his red maneuvers become white, and it's good to do it early so you can get it off multiple times. Not only that, um, if the blue squadron escort um, instead of doing a hard two as you suggest, if it stops with Leia, then he can uh, do his ninety degree pivot based on where Whisper decloaks. Correct. Yeah, it's fun. It's factually oh, accurate. And here we're getting bombs. Okay, so we're dropping a proton. This is a proton from the Y wing. From Horton, trying to cover uh, all of the escape vectors of Rexler here. Now that's interesting. That's not quite what I w or is. Sabine applies to any bomb damage. So if if Aaron tags Sumit with two bombs here, he can assign two different tokens from Sabine onto Rexler. So, you know, a crazy opportunity for some uh, some nonsense here. Skill Bombardier, probably the cheapest gunner you can equip uh, to any um, any chassis in the game here. Um, I'm not convinced that the 4K from the Defender will allow um, Sumit the room to barrel roll up board. I think he'd be stuck where he is, which would be really not nud. Uh, I think he could do a hard three in and then barrel roll into where the, the warden was. Um, question depending from, on where the Y wing is. Question from the chat about whether or not a one hard from Rex was a good idea. The defender does have a one hard on its dial, but it is red, mm. so that's probably not a great idea. You don't get your free evade, and you don't get uh, a second action, and then you'd be stuck with a stress token pointed at that so rock there. Two bank here from the. Uh, Interesting. From the U wing, trying to go for the block, maybe yeah. on. Well, that's definitely Duchess. looks like it's going to block Duchess, which would leave Duchess with no tokens. Aaron calling Sumit's uh, decloak vector just perfectly there. Not too many places that Whisper can go to escape a range one from a U wing there. Not bad. Hard two here from the uh, from the Y wing from the K wing. This is really interesting, too, because the Y-Wing's arc is like... Sorry, the, uh, the K-Wing's arc is yeah. basically like that. Here you got primary, and here you got barrage rockets. So not many places that Whisper can go this turn where she's not hitting some sort of hurt. And I 
I'm 100% certain that Aaron is going to be a okay with barrage rocketing Duchess. Duchess. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. You're not going to be able to, I mean, in X Wing, you rarely want to split your fire. Yeah. Splitting your fire is usually never a good idea. In this case. Oh, here's the 4K. In this, in this case, I think he might have to split his fire, but Sumit's going to be taking one for sure damage. Just focusing evading. Now he's still got that shield. Ooh. Victor, would you mind putting Sabine Wren up for us again, please? After yeah. a ship suffers the effect of a friendly bomb. So correct me if I'm wrong, Devin, if this bomb explodes, yeah. could he then apply a tractor beam, move this one before this one explodes? Um, yes. Uh, but what I think is more likely, uh, Tim, is that he assigns him an ion bomb, and then he an ion token, and then he can proton bomb him again the next round. Well, why wouldn't you use this one to tractor beam him here, use this one to ion him, and then he's pointed at the rock? I believe Sabine is once per round, but maybe let's let's get her up again. Sorry, one more time there, Victor. We're all used to we haven't no one's used to uh, Sabine 2.0 just yet, so we're just uh, gonna put her back up here and get one quick look. Nah, man, it's after a ship suffers the effect of a friendly bomb. We're gonna see if Aaron has extrapolated this uh, action cue here in a minute. Ouch. That's mean. That's mean. I don't want to say that I called all the moves of Aaron's ships, but... He didn't hard to the U-Wing. True. <laughs> he, he didn't stop. So okay, so him the ion token. We do. We have him giving the ion token, which is going to be, um, as Devin said, it very advantageous for the following turn when, uh, when Horton Somm wants to bomb the defender again. Uh, because he'll be able to leave a proton bomb with the uh, Y-Wing and a seismic with the K-Wing and do a uh, crit and a hit. So Rexor Blath is now shieldless um, and ionized. And, and, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's like Duchess is going to try and shoot Thane, or what are we Yeah, we're going for? range two on the K-Wing there. All right. Sure range two on the K-Wing. All right. Duchess is going to see what she can do. Yeah, I mean, there that's all right. Red dice showing up on round two. There we go. So shields are down on the warden. Going to eat all of that. So hit, hit, crit, folks. Let's see what that crit is on the K-Wing coming and up now. Console, console fire. Console fire. Which will trigger this turn. Yeah. New console fire so is... So 50-50. A rough... Yeah. Yeah. So before you engage. Before you engage. Yeah. Which means you can die before engaging. Poof. Shablamo. Shablams. Goodbye. Boom goes the dynamite. Rex of Wrath going to take like a long that. bomb on the K-Wing as well. Just one hit. Bubkiss, but he's got Juke. Juke. Juke in that one. K-Wing opting to take the damage. No crit. Ooh. He's got to live to the next turn to get um, a maximum lulls off with the Sabine and uh, well, Seismics. The sad part now is that Whisper has to shoot at the K-Wing to kill it. I don't think that's sad. I think that's, that's how... Concentrating fireworks and being a good X-wing player. Yeah, I think uh, Sumit would have loved to have actually killed the K-wing and, and taken something else. Rexler using Rexler uh, Brath's ability, and uh, we have exposed a damaged engine on the K-wing as well. Whisper going to take her range one four die shot on the K-wing here. Need a few paint. Just absolute hot steaming garbage. That's uh, not what Samit wants to see. No, he's got to spend that focus token and try and no, kill the No, he nope. does not. He needs to stay alive. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No, you need to. Uh, he's facing three shots this round, um, four shots this round on Whisper. So. How did Rexler Bra Brath get that? Oh, he's just put down the wrong one. Right. Yeah, Rexler Brath got a. No, that's that's uh, that is incorrect. The loose stabilizer crit is on Whisper. Sorry, the loose stabilizer crit should be on Duchess, which is correct because that's oh, that's yeah, the Duchess like, card up there. Yeah, yeah, yep. Thane going on a Whisper shot here at shot. range three. Ooh, rough. Oh, it is range two. Okay, great. Thanks, Victor. One hit. Oh, spend the focus. No damage. 
Now he's I, I don't know if Shamit's rolled an evade result yet. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> here we go. Uh, we got Horton Som trying to argue with himself over who he's going to shoot here. Hmm. Horton's taking a shot at Whisper. Okay, he's got a focus token. Rerolling because he's got some friendlies at range one. Hit it, crit. Ouch. Spins the evade. Yep. Takes two. Now Whisper's got three hull left because uh, they gave her a little extra. All right, so the U Wing, uh, K Wing going to shoot at the U Wing? No, K Wing shoot at Duchess. Barrage rockets on Duchess. So that's the uh, console fire. Yep. Nothing for the console fire here. Barrage one rocket. Die from the die, one damage from the barrage rockets. Not in bullseye there. Just one. No bueno. So no rerolls. There's our, our table judge, Evan, jumping in. Our newly uh, semi-finalist, Evan Cameron, table judge tonight. Okay. So big fat nothing. And then the U-Wing's taking a shot at Whisper here. Uh, for four, that's not what Samit wants to see. That's not what Samit wants. Yeah, to that's going to do it. Whisper down to three hull. With Whisper dead. Brexler's got a, a long road back. Whisper got popped. And then we've got Duchess in a non-advantageous position with a loose stabilizer. And Rexler about to eat another proton bomb. Not looking good for our uh, our first uh, our, our, first, our first time with this cut here. But okay, so what do you think Aaron's going to do here? You think he's going to use Leia and and, uh, and one eighty that uh, that U wing, or does he have to get it out of there because he's got no, he's got to get that U wing out of the way because everything else has to move. It doesn't have a K turn, right? It no, just it doesn't. Stoppy stop. I mean, he could he could put the U wing four forward and then K turn at the next turn. The K wing doesn't have red maneuvers. It's got a, the red. The stop is red. The K wing? Yeah. Oh, the K wing. Oh, I thought the U. Uh, there's too many letter wings. You ever played that list, the alphabet uh, alphabet squadron? No. It's an A wing, a B wing, a Y wing, a U wing, and an X wing, and an X wing. Yeah. Can you fit all that in the list? You can. It's mm -hmm. actually true. So where do you think Rexler's going? I think Rexler's going to do a blue one forward and eat yeah. a proton bomb. That's what I think. And it's a plasmic charge. It's a true story. Yeah. Interestingly enough, after that proton bomb... Um, I mean, that probably kills him. Well, the crazy thing is that Sabine's going to be able to assign a jam token, so he's not even able to take the focus token from the ion one forward. It's kind of like maximum or disrespect. The, or the tractor beam. Yeah, you could track to be more. You could just give him no tokens. Yeah, it's either way. Six half one doesn't. Well, the he doesn't other. have a lot of shots on him this round. It is the same thing too. Like if the K wing drops a seismic charge here, and the proton bomb is here, after Rexler gets hit by the proton bomb, you, you could beam him you could track to beam him forward, and then get this rock exploding and get him again. It's uh, it's a nasty little control list that uh, Father of Fairship put together. Wow. Yeah, it's. Uh and he's not going to be able to get his evade. It's shut Juke off. I was surprised the Leia crew wasn't really touched in the repointsoning. But uh, what can you do? Well, you know that the Rebel faction has no good crew carriers, right? None, none of the ships in the Rebel faction have any kind of crew carrying abilities that are cost effective or... <laughs> folks, folks, if, if Devin had the ability to shoot lasers out of his eyes, I would be dead right now. <laughs> the vast majority of rebel ships can carry crew. <laughs> Including the attack shuttles for like 20 points. Uh, Question from the chat about whether or not Rexler is still ionized. I think one we just spent the last five minutes talking I'm about that. Pretty sure <laughs> that Zilla6969, aka Scott Ross, needs to keep up with our commentary. <laughs> so, what do you. What do you I don't know. What do you do with Smeet in this situation? I, uh, I like to talk about Paths to Victory. Uh, we've got two members of Ontario's finest here. Uh, both these guys are as familiar with the top tables as the bottom tables. But what's what does Duchess have to do to win? 
Dutch just has to get rid of that uh, loose stabilizer crit by doing either a uh, three straight, which I definitely don't advise, or a three bank that away and then clearing the crit. Um, there isn't many places the Duchess can go where she's not taking three shots this turn, so that's not a great situation for a striker. But, um, I mean, the other thing that the striker could do, of course, is just bump the U-Wing and try and kill the, the K-Wing. And here's the Proton Bomb. Leia Organa oh, is being using spent. Using Leia. There we okay. go. So we might have the U-Wing do a 90-degree turn upboard and uh, get a shot there on Rexler Brath. Uh, a, a hard two from the K-Wing gets a shot on Rexler. K-turns from all the silly little ships do things like get uh, get shots. Yeah, to so. your point, Devin, we're having the uh, the U-Wing use its pivot wing ability, flip down, do a zero K-turn, so it rolls one less agility die. It's, uh, it's hard to tickle your friends when you get your arms in like that. No. I just love how you can rotate 90 or 180. Like in the in 1.0, you were only able to uh, do a K-turn thing, but that 90-degree pivot is crazy. Mm -hmm. K-Wing going to do a two-turn and probably rotate arc to the rear. Nah. Focus. Remove the crit. Remove the crit. Removing oh. the console fire crit with the action. Solid plan. Yeah, it was a solid plan. However, unfortunately, um, the K-Wing... leave the seismic charge behind. So we're going to have to go tell our players that the K-Wing did a damaged engine turn and took an action. Victor's going to have to go over there and correct the gain state. Folks, no big deal. So all that means That's is that the K-Wing is in the same spot, still has the... Uh, still has the... Uh, console fire crit and is stressed currently so yeah. easy correction of the game state we're just going to get Horton Som does his bank and takes a focus uh, that's a very good point that I missed uh, Victor so the um, damaged crit says that you decrease sorry you increase the difficulty of all of your maneuvers so that was a decrease the difficulty correct so Leia just says that you basically can do red maneuvers for free in one turn. So it yeah. did a red maneuver for free. Yep. Yep. Totally forgot. And do we get a bumpy bump here? I love how I thought for one hot steaming second that I knew more about X-Wing than Aaron. Never. Never should have been that. Now, there's the uh, the ion maneuver. Sumit rereading stun or the crit that's on... Uh, Takes a damage for bumping into the U-wing. That's how shaking pilot works. Loose stabilizer. Oh, loose stabilizer. Yeah, takes the damage, flips it down. Um, we're gonna do the one four. The only action that you can take once you are ionized during the perform action step is the focus action. You are still able to be coordinated or provided with free actions outside of the perform action step, but once in it, you can only focus. Now Ace looks like he's changed the. Uh, Thing gonna do the Talon roll for free here. Yeah, and he changed his S foils to uh, Aaron. I believe have, have, has closed his S foils, which means he can boost, can focus boost. There's a lot of uh, difference of opinion about whether or not the T65s with their new and improved server foils are actually better than the T70s, because the T70s cannot focus boost. I'm o I'm okay with uh, with them being better than the T7. There's a lot of the ups and backs. I mean, like the the resistance faction has RZ2s and it has Star Fortresses and all that stuff. But you know, I played Aaron in one of our league matches earlier this season, and he had there's two T70s. the tractor beam a direct hit onto Raxler. Oh, one health left on Raxler. That is Aaron not out easy. of range one from the proton bomb. Aaron gonna have to choose what Sabine wow. action using wow. the tractor beam. Wow. Put him closer to the rock there. Now, I'm surprised he didn't bring him forward, seeing as Thane has crack shot. He uh, might have been able to get him down. Now, that does get him. I mean, Rexler is in three arcs. Um, Duchess also, there's a chance of going off the board here with. Uh, Duchess looks like she's shooting the warden. I don't know if we'll. Yeah, we're trying to figure like range out two. range one. Looks like range two to me. It's a diagonal of a medium base. Okay, so Sabine 2.0 has used her 
Ion and her tractor beam token, so that means she still has a jam and a stress. Two hits from Duchess. Outmaneuver there. Outmaneuver in effect. Dead K Wing. That's what Samit needs. Mm hmm. Start removing these. Ships. 57 points on the board for Samit. 130 for Aaron at this point. Unfortunately, 100% of the damage he's done in this game was to that to that uh, warden. Sabine off the board. Rexler taking two. No juke. Ouch. Dodges it. That is one killer T65 X Wing. Uh, Thane is the ace on the board. Yeah. Quick question from the chat about which direction the Y Wing's turret is pointing in. It is pointing directly at Rexler Brath here. No bueno for the defender. So now Thane rolling one less dice because he... Uh, yeah, he's just going to expose the damage card and, and kill Rexler because he knows exactly which one is the direct hit. Well, Rexler's also only on one hull. Yeah. yeah, Rexler just gets the direct hit exposed, kills him with Thane's ability, and then Samit's going to tip here and call it quits with Duchess not being able to do much against this massive rebel list. GG Nori.